This is a problem from section 5-2, similar to your homework problem, and uh, a type of problem that I like to include on the exam. It might not look like a lottery situation, but it's one of those cases where it's a random variable and a probability distribution, and you have a couple of events, and then you have to find the expected value. So let's take a look at this problem. We have a lottery game where you select three numbers, you pay a dollar and seven, and then if you win, if they select your three digit number, you win three hundred and forty eight dollars and twenty two cents. So that's the game, that's our scenario, and they ask us a bunch of questions like what are your, what are your random variables, how many different selections are possible, probability of winning, etc. So what are our random variables? Well, there's two events that are happening. We win or we lose. And as I think about that, I want to just maybe start creating the distribution table. And so the main distribution table, when we're looking at probability distributions, really just has an x and a p of x. x is the random variable. p of x is the probability assigned to that random variable. But for this particular case, it's it, it might be good to include the event in which you would attain your random variable. So in this particular scenario, it's a game, you either win or you lose. And so those are your two events. So I'm going to list our events down here. Each of these events will have a corresponding random variable associated with it. And the random variable will end up being our earnings. And then our probabilities that are associated with each event would be associated with those random variables what are our random variables? So what happens if we win? It looks like if we win, we would get $348.22. Now, I would like to just put that number here, but I have to realize that I have paid, initially paid, a dollar and seven. So what I need to do is I need to subtract that out. So let me just do some scratch work on the side here. And if I do the subtraction, I get I get 347.15 cents. So that is going to be my x value. That's my random variable for a win. Now if I lose, I lose that money that I had paid, which is a dollar and seven. So here are my random variables. It looks like I can answer the first question. What are your random variables? Your random variables are going to be 374.15 cents and a negative 107. Now in this game, you have three digit numbers. Each digit comes from a selection of 10 possible digits. So we want to count how many possible selections are there. If I have three digits to choose from, each of them have 10 possibilities, then the total number of possibilities I have is 1,000. So it's basically zero 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 all the way up to nine 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 and all the other possible combinations in between how many possible selections we have we have a thousand possible selections the next question what's the probability of winning well there is exactly one winner out of the thousand possibilities I'm just going to use probability notation here and this is the probability of a win and that is equal to 1 in 1,000. We're almost done with the distribution table. We know that the probability of winning is 1 in 1,000, so we can actually put that value here. To finish up the probability distribution table, we just have to know what the probability is of losing. Well, that's the exact complement of winning, the opposite. And so if I just subtract that from 1, I'm going to get I should get 999 over 1,000. So that's my probability of losing. So here's my distribution table, all fixed up and all set. The next question is find the expected value. So we have a formula for the expected value. The expected value is equal to the sum of x times p of x, the product of each of the random variables multiplied by its probability. This, by the way, is also the mean. We have our probability distribution table set up here. Usually, 
a nice easy way to compute the expected value is to continue on with your probability, probability distribution table with another column x times p of x and then whatever you get in these two slots you would add them that's the sigma sum we want to add up all these values and then that's how we're going to get our expect that that's how we're going to get our expected value so I'm going to take out my calculator to do some of these calculations uh, the first number this one should be fairly easy I think it's 0 0.34715 but let's just confirm that and with the order of operations you should be able to just type this in directly as such and then press enter and then we have that number the next one is a negative so we can put a negative sign here remember the difference between a negative sign and a subtraction sign so this is a negative sign we want 1.07 times the probability and then we find it and then we get a negative 1.06893 and then we want to add this up so we can just do it here in the calculator so I have 0 0.34715 and then I'm going to add a negative so might as well just subtract out the other value and then we press enter and then we get a negative 72178 so we'll report that as our expected value and then our last question is to explain what this value means. So we're talking about a game. We're talking about winnings or losings. This should be associated with that. So I think one way to explain this expected value is that for every $1.07 game that you play, you have a good chance of losing $0.72. Cents. So let's write that out. So that does not mean that you play one game and you're going to lose 72 cents. This is what happens in the long run. So if you if you play like a thousand games, where you pay dollar seven for each game, then you're expected to lose 72 cents per game. So imagine multiplying this by a thousand, and then you would be expected to lose uh, about 700 dollars or so. That should cover this particular problem. I wanted to show you one more quick shortcut using a calculator and I'm going to go back to my calculator instead of doing this individually and on the side of the table like we have here we can actually put all the, the probability distribution information in your calculator and then find your mean since this expected value is just the mean so for that I'm going to go to my table and edit I have some stuff in my list so I'm going to go ahead and clear that and then in my L1 I'll input my random variables and notice the negative sign L2 I'll put my probabilities and just so you know when you enter an arithmetic expression it'll actually do the calculations and give you a decimal so that when you type in 0.999 divided by 1000 for example that's not what it's going to show on the calculator. Instead, it's going to calculate it for you and give you 0.999. Okay, now that I have my probability distribution set up, I'm going to go ahead and go back to my home screen. And then I'm going to press stat, calc, one var stats. And then I have to let the calculator know that I'm looking at both L1 and L2. So I'm going to press L1, comma, L2 and then I'm going to get my mean which is my expected value the bonus in doing this is that you also get the standard deviation which may or may not be important in some of the problems that you need to do but in this case you get the mean by just using the one var stats command alright I hope this helps good luck with your homework